showing you my natural no foundation makeup look i feel like i've been perfecting this routine for the longest and i've grown a lot over the past year regarding my makeup routine and i feel like i'm really ready to share i wouldn't call this a tutorial but i'm really just showing you what i do and you can follow it if you want if you don't want to then whatevs now i'm not gonna lie to you and say all of my makeup products that i use are affordable but i will try to put some dupes that i've heard are good or ones that i've even tried on the screen and also make sure you do your skincare before this i literally did an eight step skincare routine for this so i make sure my skin is nice and glowy and hydrated before starting this because i have dry skin and doing my makeup definitely dries it out sometimes i want to make sure i have a nice base for my makeup we're gonna start off with the milk makeup hydro group primer i apply one little dot on my finger to one side and then add another dot on the other side and that should be enough I just kind of rub that in with two fingers across my skin. I apply that all over my face, my eyelids, my jawline, everything. I know there's a little white cast there. Don't worry about that. That's because I just put on sunscreen. I didn't really let it sit in long enough. But that isn't going to hurt anything. It'll dissolve. While my primer is setting in, I'm going to do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Brow Glue. And I definitely need some more. What I do is I go over my eyebrows the opposite direction to make sure both sides of the hairs are coated. Then I will go back over them and brush them the correct direction. Then I will let that sit and get tacky before I go back into it. Also, if you see me looking over here, I have like a mirror right here set up. So if you see me just looking off, that's what I'm doing. Now that my eyebrows have dried a little bit, they've gotten tacky. I'm going to use the spoolie. The spoolie is from Doe Color. I'm pretty sure all the brushes I'll be using today are from Doe Color. And I think I have a code for them. If you're interested in the brushes that I'm using, which are cruelty free, make sure you guys use the code on the screen. It's the link in the description. Not sponsored, just saying. But I use the spoolie to really brush my eyebrows upward. Then I'll go back over it and clean at the ends this gives my eyebrows a clean little arch and i don't usually go like around my eyebrows with concealer just because i like a nice natural look with the eyebrows now the primer has set in so we're ready to go in with our base for concealer i'm going to use the tower 28 concealer this is in the shade oc i love this concealer and the applicator especially i'll just go into my inner corner do a nice little triangle i guess and then i'll just slide upward on my outer corner Then I'll do a thin line down the bridge of my nose, some on my forehead, right above my eyebrows, and then right under my nose because I have some redness right there, and then under my lips. Before I blend this out, I'm going to set my face with setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I promise I'm going to clean my makeup brushes after this. Please don't come after me with my makeup brushes. But I'm using the 14 brush from Doe Color to blend my concealer. I don't let my concealer fully dry with the setting powder because I feel like it, that just makes it hard to blend. And it also helps the concealer to not be too full covered. I'm definitely a medium to light coverage girly, so doing this just keeps my concealer looking natural. So I lightly blend under my eyes and I drag it down my nose right here and that just helps with the contour, which I'll talk about in the later steps but it helps my nose look snatched. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna continue kind of just blending the bridge of my nose and under my nose along the under my mouth and on my forehead. And I'm gonna finish blending with my makeup sponge. This is also from Doe Color. So if you really want your makeup to stay I recommend putting some setting spray onto your makeup sponge. Also, I definitely prefer a dry beauty blender. I don't know what it is. I just, I've never been a wet beauty blender type of gal. I feel like I use very creamy products, so they're already easy to blend. So there's really no need to add water to it. But if you want to wet your sponge, definitely do that. Look how flawless that concealer blended out. I'm in love. This part can get a little controversial on how to set your face with powder and stuff. Me personally, I love nice glowy looks. I don't want my face to be dry from like being matte. And I feel like if I set each step in my makeup, my face becomes drier than the Sahara Desert and I have dry skin so that cannot happen because then the peeling starts and we just don't want all that. So this is where I set my face. I literally only set my concealer and then everything else I just put over top of the powder. Again, this is what works with me. If it don't work for you, then it's fine. But I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I'm gonna use a beauty blender. This one's from e.l.f. And I know I, I haven't gotten on the powder puff trend. Every time I go to the store, I can't find any powder puffs, which is so weird. I've literally been looking for them for like a year. At this point, I should definitely order one offline and maybe I'll have it by my next makeup video but for right now i have to use the beauty blender i'm just gonna dip it into my halo glow setting powder i literally only set where i put the concealer so i drag it down my nose i kind of just press it in to my skin again because i don't want it to look 
cakey or dry in and i feel like pressing it in really helps with getting your makeup to stay also now i'm gonna use the rare beauty bronzer stick this is in the shade good energy i love this bronzer stick because it's so easy to blend i just put a line underneath my cheekbone i feel like putting a line there just really makes it look snatched and then i'll go over my forehead and then right underneath my jawline I just go straight down my nose with two lines that are kind of close to each other. I'll go under the nose and then right on top of like the tip. This is brushes in 04 and I just use this one to blend out my bronzer. I'll just dab it until it looks natural enough and has blended into my skin. I try not to go too high up on my cheeks, but I also try not to come all the way down here. I just like to keep it exactly where I put the line. And this bronzer is super easy to blend, so it's really light work. Then with whatever's left on the brush, I will kind of brush that bronzer down into my jawline. I saw some makeup artists say that that's what the professionals do to give their face really the snatched look. So I've been trying it ever since and I think it really helps. And I'm going to use my tin brush from Doe Color and I'm just going to go over my contour with it. The key for me to making your contour look really snatched and natural is to blend it all the way into your eyelid. So I kind of take this line and I go straight into my eyelid with it. And I feel like that also adds color to my eyelid so it looks really nice. Then I'll just go back and forth underneath my nose and on top of my nose where I added those extra lines. And that is my contour slash bronzer. It really adds some warmth into my face, especially after powdering. And the setting powder that I added is literally the only powder that I put on my face besides eyeshadow. So the rest of my products are cream besides eyeshadow. I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy. When I take it out, it's always too much on the applicator, so I kind of just rub that off. And I'll just add two little dots right on the highs of my cheekbones. Adding it this high really gives my face a lifted look. And then I use this Cheeky Glow Highlighter from Lottie London. It really adds a nice shimmer to my blush. I don't use it as highlighter, I just kind of add it on as another blush. I just put one little dot on top of where I put the blush. Then I'm using my makeup sponge from Doe Color and I'm just gonna blend that all in a circular motion. I try to keep it up here and then I'll bring it right down here, but I try not to go past where I put my bronzer. <laughs> And then whatever's left on the beauty blender, I might just go over my nose a little bit, but I don't want to mess up the contour. But that just adds some more color and makes it look a little more natural. Now for highlight, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter in the shade Enlightened. As y'all might be able to tell, I do like Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty is definitely one of my favorite makeup brands. Remember, I do have dupes listed also. Just like with the blush, there's always too much product on it, so I just kind of wipe this off. And I use the Sharper in right on top of where I put my blush, and I'm just going to put those right there. And then I do a little on my nose. What I love about liquid highlighter and specifically the Rare Beauty liquid highlighter is that it looks so natural. I can literally put it anywhere on my face and it just looks like a natural glow. And it doesn't look like I just put like glitter there. So I put them like right under my eye right here where people with like oily skin would have like that natural glow. And to be quite honest with you guys, I've always wished to have oily skin. I feel like it's so cute, especially when you put makeup on top of it. Or maybe it's just the dry skin in me, but I feel like oily skin is just so pretty. I also put a little bit on my forehead and on top of my lip, and I blend all of my highlighter with my hand or my finger. Now for eyeshadow, I don't usually add eyeshadow, to be quite honest with you. I usually just go in with the bronzer on my eyelids and call it a day, but today I'm feeling a little fancy. And I know a lot of people like to wear eyeshadow, so I'm going to give you guys my little eyeshadow tip. Just for making it look really natural, I'm using the MAC Connecting Color Palette, but a lot of times I use the Lottie London Chocolate Box Eyeshadow Palette. But today I'm going to use this MAC one. I'm using the shade Hidden Album, and it's right here. It's a nice bronzing shade, but it also has a little shimmer to it, so I'm just going to add that to my crease and I kind of go back and forth in a circular motion and this is in brush 10 the same one I used for my contour and I literally just blend that until it looks as natural as possible I'll even pull it out of my eyelid a little bit just to give it a more natural effect and that is literally it for eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use the Idol Lash Mascara from Lancome. I have really short curly eyelashes, so this really gives me a little bit of volume. I feel like it gives me length too. This is just what I've been using. I kind of move my mascara back and forth as I'm going through my lashes. I feel like this keeps it from looking clumpy. 
I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the second coat. And now for the lips. And y'all, we're almost done. Honestly, this lip doesn't really take me that long. Probably like 15 minutes tops. This video might be a little longer or shorter. I really don't know. For lips, I'm gonna give y'all some of my favorite lip products. I'm of course gonna do a lip combo, although I don't do this every day. Usually I just slap on some Dior lip oil, but I do wanna let you guys know about some of my favorite lip products that are really natural. And I have extremely dry lips that are always peeling unless I'm hydrating them correctly. So I just wanted to give you guys some of my hydrating lip product recommendations. First is the Lancome Juicy Tubes Lip Gloss. I have this one in Spring Fling and this one in Miracle. I don't really use the Miracle one that much but Spring Fling I love. She doesn't really have much buildup on the inside of your lips and I feel like it stays on for a long time. I also have the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. Now this does make my lips peel, I'm not gonna lie. So I definitely have to make sure my lips are hydrated and have on like a lip balm that I really trust underneath this because this stuff definitely makes my lips peel. But the tint is amazing. It keeps my lips tinted like all day. I love it. This is in the shade Hope. And then the Laneige lip balm in the shade Berry. I have had Berry and Peach and I lost my peach one. I have no idea where it's at. But these are super uber duper hydrating. They do have a little buildup if you keep reapplying it all day. But for the most part, they don't really have much buildup and they do last a long time. And the shades are very natural. Not too much on your lips. I love it. And last but not least, my favorite lip product I've ever had, the Dior lip oil. This, this is definitely overpriced for the amount that you get i'm not gonna lie but i also at the same time feel like 40 dollars is worth this lip gloss i it's a lip oil and i tell you this stuff lasts so long it has no build up it's the perfect shade like this is shade 001 it's the perfect shade the applicator is beautiful the packaging is beautiful it definitely gives you way too little though i use this just about every day and it lasted me about four months and then i got another one but i'm absolutely in love with this lip oil if you are willing to spend the money on a lip product you will not be disappointed with this one i i've i've used a lot of different lip oils mainly because i did not want to buy this again but every single one that i used just didn't hold a candle to this one but anyway let's get into the lip combo i'm using this eye pencil this i got from like a random beauty store this is from nk makeup and honestly i don't like my lip pencils very sharp also this is an eye pencil so yeah i just been using this it's like a nice dark brown color but i'm gonna just trace the outline of my lips i'm not gonna overline but i'm not gonna underline either i don't i, I just go over my lips <laughs> My lip lining definitely needs some work, but I kind of buff it out a little bit. I don't I don't know the proper terming. I blend it into my lips and then I use my Dior lip oil because it's just my favorite lip product of all time. If I wanted it to look a little brighter, I definitely would just go in with the Dior lip oil or maybe the Laneige Berry lip balm and then not do the extra eyeshadow if I wanted it to look to look brighter. But I feel like we went for a darker tone today and it still looks very natural. It doesn't like I'm wearing a ton of makeup. I almost forgot setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray I used it earlier and y'all, the setting spray is the thing that holds my makeup all day. The primer has something to do with it. The setting powder has something to do with it. My makeup did not start saying all day until I started using the setting spray. That rhymed. Urban Decay sponsored me. But when I tell y'all this stuff keeps my makeup on all day, I'm not lying. This is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I feel like it's pretty beginner friendly, but also anyone can do it. Also, this is just what I do. You don't have to do everything in this video exactly how I did it. Do whatever is comfortable for your face. But I had so much fun filming this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, check my social medias in the description. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. If you made it to this point of the video, comment this emoji. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.